<laughs> oh my god, this is a disaster. Oh my god. How do I look? <laughs> you look ridiculous. <laughs> I can't believe you would say that to me. I also almost shaved my eyebrow, I realized. <laughs> Come across my face, I'm like, ah, my eyebrow. In comes the morning, hunting us with the beach. Hi, I'm Tyler. Uh, I have not had a haircut since March 13th, 2020, and it is currently March 13th, 2021. And I am hiking the Pacific Crest Trail in 2021. And I would be grateful if you would follow me along on this YouTube channel on my journey. Uh, a little about me personally, uh, my partner Molly and I just moved to Portland, Oregon from Brooklyn, New York, where we lived for eight years. Um, and professionally, I've been in marketing and sales at several brands and worked on a daily streaming show for Amazon, uh, where I was a product expert and host of my own segment, Tech with Tyler. All right, let's see. Hmm. Gotta get this out of my face. It's been on my face for months. We're getting into the clippers soon. Uh, I'm originally from Indiana, uh, but I lived in Brooklyn, New York for about eight years uh, before moving to Oregon in 2020, like I said. Um, and growing up in Indiana, I spent quite a bit of time outside. Um, I loved visiting, hiking, and camping in Brown County, Hoosier National Forest, um, and even my grandparents' backyard woods, uh, where I spent much time as a child. Um, and after years of watching too much Seinfeld and Mad Men, I decided that I also wanted to be chewed up and spit out by New York City. Um, fortunately, this meant uh, escapes upstate to visit friends in the Hudson Valley, uh, where I spent as many summer weekends as I possibly could uh, in Harriman State Park and the Shaman Gunk Ridge, uh, and of course the Catskills. Uh, and, and Oregon was always uh, the plan uh, in a particular pandemic, altered the timing slightly, uh, but we finally arrived here in September of last year, and I'm excited to share a few videos I've created documenting our cross-country move and adventure. So look for those coming up soon. Uh, hiking the PCT has not always been a dream of mine. Um, on the one hand, I have always longed to spend time outdoors, and was even dissatisfied at my first blush with Tiger Scouts uh, because the troop didn't camp enough for my liking. Um, on the other hand, after an ill-fated backpacking trip with a few friends one summer in college uh, where I was woefully underprepared, I soured on overnight backpacking and it swore it off altogether. Uh, I, I can't recall if I was aware of the PCT's existence before Cheryl Strayed's infamous 2012 book and subsequent 2014 film Wild, uh, but I was certainly aware of the Appalachian Trail, obviously coming from the Midwest. Um, still, I think I first heard about Mexico to Canada towards the end of college, uh, and this quickly led me to research as much as possible about the trail, culminating in a thoroughly planned and partially prepped 2020 through hike attempt, which unfortunately I had to reschedule to 2021, but here we are. This, these things work great, just coming right off. Um, I've always loved spending time outdoors, uh, and some of my earliest memories are spending time on walks and rides on various ATVs uh, through the woods in my grandparents' backyard in Washington County, Indiana. Uh, we were always in the woods, uh, if that would meant from cutting down trees that were problems to splitting that wood to heat the house, or even just going for a run to an open field tucked away uh, in the dense, untamed Indiana forest of old. Uh, I appreciate that I got to spend time outside and elsewhere in Indiana growing up. However, uh, due to this country's agricultural boom in the 19th century, especially in Indiana, much of Indiana's forest coverage is now lost to history. Um, when I was eight years old, I signed up for a cross-country camp with my church and trained for my first 5K. Uh, this piqued my interest in running and led me to attempt more prominent and more significant challenges. I ran my first half marathon at 12 years old, uh, completing the Indianapolis Mini Marathon in two hours and eight minutes. Uh, still, I wouldn't attempt uh, something longer for another 15 years uh, when I would finish my first marathon. Um, I've since run four more marathons, including a 50-mile ultra in Harriman State Park in the Hudson Valley uh, and the Dopey Challenge, which is a multi-day 48.6-mile challenge. Uh, the PCT will be my most ambitious journey yet and will hopefully be the culmination of all of these efforts.
Top five. Who's your top five? Uh, Q-Tip, Andre 3000, Tyler the Creator, Kendrick Lamar, and Killer Mike. Hmm. Uh, fish food. Uh, it's cliche, oh, but ow. I'm most excited for the Sierra, um, and I'm incredibly enthusiastic about the opportunity that the trail presents to summit Mount Whitney. Um, I summited Mount Elber, which is the second highest peak in the contiguous U.S. in September, and can't wait to check number one off my list. Uh, also, the beauty and the seclusion that the Sierra presents will be very similar to the Dolomites, a place I visited in 2019, and I consider the most beautiful place that I've ever been. Uh, speaking of the Dolomites, I can't get them out of my mind. You know, I only spent a week in Northern Italy and it was not enough. Uh, I would certainly like to return someday to hike an entire Alta Via route uh, instead of only a section of one. Um, I enjoyed Mari Johnson, Jay Wonders Out, uh, and Little Skittles for varying reasons. Uh, I think Mari does a great job capturing the trail culture and the people. Uh, Jay has so much quality footage in his vlogs, and combined with his music, it's pretty mesmerizing sometimes. Uh, and Little Skittles is an inspiration uh, for being honest and letting the viewer ride shotgun to her very personal adventure. <laughs> Good, I got too much hair. Uh, in addition to hiking, I also love cooking and baking. Uh, I try to cook almost all of my own food and rarely eat out. Uh, additionally, I try to bake something each week, whether that be a dessert or a savory something. <laughs> like and subscribe. All right, I leave for my hike in mid-May, and I will be going until hopefully September or October. So in the meantime, uh, follow me on Instagram at Trek with Tyler for daily updates on my hike as well as my hair. Uh, and then starting in October, the series will start coming out on YouTube as well as IGTV.